Okay, so if you play Ezreal and you have no idea what to buy in Season 14, then this guide is probably for you. So the first build is gonna be the Bruiser build. The big things that changed is that Trinity got nerfed because it's no longer a mythic. Ezreal, shut the fuck up. Uh, the big thing that changed is that Trinity is no longer a mythic. It got nerfed pretty hard. It no longer has the stacking uh, thingy. It's pretty shit on ADCs, but it's not the worst on Ezreal. But for this build, we're gonna stick with Trinity. Then obviously we're gonna grab Muramana because it's still the best item for Ezreal. Another major thing that changed is now that Ionia shoots got nerfed. It, they have 5 ability haste less. It doesn't seem like much, but it's a, it's a pretty big nerf for Ezreal. Another item, and this item is probably the best fucking item in the game for Ezreal Knight right now, is the Spear of Shojin. Just look at these stats. Just look at this passive. It's it's a must-have. It's literally a must-have. Then you may want to grab Ravenous Hydra. The problem with Ravenous Hydra right now, it got reverted the active. I mean, Ezreal sticks proxy with Q and Autos. This is good. This is really good. The only sad thing about Hydra right now is that you need to play more of a frontline Ezreal in order to use it properly. I mean, to use it the full item. It's not ideal because you're a ranged champion at the end of the day, so you want to stay in range, but well, it is what it is. Now, the last item. I test this under the sky, and sadly, it doesn't work on your Q. As you can see, this is the Sunder Sky uh, icon, and it doesn't proc on Q. It does proc on auto though. It's not the best, but it's not as bad as it seems. Because if you're a good Ezreal, then you auto anyway uh, in between your queues. And it gives a really good stats. So it's not the worst option. Also, what you can do is if you auto and then immediately queue, the Santerer Sky will get the Sheen bonus. Which, as you can see here, without the Sheen, it deals 747. But with the Sheen bonus, it deals... 956 so it's a really good burst it's a really good item because it gives really good stats every single stat that Ezreal needs and it also gives a really big burst so this is good but the only problem of this build now it has no armor shot because if you don't know Cyrilda is now an assassin item and it scales with lethality the armor pen scales with lethality it also gives lethality in the base stats and you, you don't need lethality on Ezreal, you don't build lethality on Ezreal, at least not on this build path, and it's just a bad item. So now we have no slow and no armor pen. When they stack armor, it's probably changed Sunderer Sky with Black Cleaver. Like, it gives amazing stats, even better than Sunderer Sky, and it gives armor shred, but it, we kinda need it in order to like deal with tanks and bruisers and armor stacking, especially with the new tank items that are really oppressive and, in my opinion, really fucking broken. Uh, yeah, we kinda need that. So this is the build path. As you can see, I have 3,335 HP. With stack Muramana, we have 434 AD. It's really good. A lot of haste, 110 haste, which allows us to spam kill just as before. So this is the build. Another build, it's gonna be an assassin Ezreal build. So you may remember in season 14 there was a Duskblade build where Duskblade is no longer in the game. So we need to cook something else with that. I tested Vulcan Voltaic Cyclosword. Uh, it seems pretty good. It gives really good stats. AD, Lethality and Ability Haze. Although, because of your ranged champion, the passive is really fucking bad. Because on a melee champion, the slow is 99%. On ranged champions, it's only 20%. Which is... It's just tragic. It's like, no slow whatsoever. So I'm gonna grab Ability Haze Boots. We're still gonna bra uh, grab Muramana. What we're gonna do now, is we're gonna buy Cyrilda. And Yumu. Not action. Uh, the Hydra. So this is our build path. We got Yumu to kite. Pretty decent, not the best, but pretty decent ability haste. A lot of mana, a lot of damage with our spells, and a wave clear with Profane Hydra. The pro with Profane Hydra is that I believe it has bigger range than normal Hydra, especially on these autos, which will make wave clear even, even easier. Although, yeah, we have no ability haste in this build path whatsoever, and uh, without the dance bullet passive that makes us invisible or untargetable, we're still pretty fucking squishy. Uh, so that's why we need to grab Yumu in order to have this uh, this movement speed to like run away and kite or catch our enemies faster. I don't know why would you go this build path, but if you like lethality, then maybe this is for you. Uh, what you can do also is swap Yomo with Opportunity. 
if they're really easy to kill the opportunity might be really good for you because as you can see after killing an enemy we get at 150 decaying movement speed for one and a half second so if you can kill them really fast and then run away with opportunity then it's obviously better than uh, than you move because it gives also 5% movement speed and 18 lethality. That makes our Serial Dagrage 1% better. Yeah, it's pretty fucking tragic. Also, the slow is only applied on when the enemy is under 50% health. That's also really bad. I do hope they will revert it, but yeah, it is what it is. So another build path that we're gonna go is a Mage Ezreal, which is for me probably the best because I play Ezreal mid and it's the most fun. First item we're gonna grab is obviously Muramana. I still think even on an AP Mage Ezreal, Muramana is just really fucking good. If you don't like Muramana, you can swap it with Malignance, which gives us 20 ultimate haste and 20 haste. It's also pretty good, but with the problem with Malignance is that your Q is really fucking useless without Muramana. It, it gives you bigger damage with W and E and Ult, but your Q is pretty useless and it's kind of hard to kill waves. And if we can't kill waves, we can't get gold, and if we can't get gold, we can't get those items. So it's really up to you. Probably an Urf or Arenas or Airams or something. Malignance is way better than, than Muramana, but I am the Muramana fanboy and I'm gonna build it even on AP Ezreal. Then we're gonna buy Leech Bane, obviously. We need some Sheen in order for our Q to be good. Then we go with Storm Surge. Storm Surge is probably the most fucking broken item in this game to one-shot someone. Then we're grabbing Shadow Flame. It's, it's really fucking OP. Like, it's, it's probably the best item in the game. And then we're gonna finish it with Rabadon and Cosmic Drive. Where is Cosmic Drive? Cosmic Drive. No shoes, and why no shoes? You don't want shoes on Mage Ezreal on full build. Why? Because Cosmic Drive is really fucking OP. It used to be garbage because you needed to land like three spells and stack it. Now it procs on every single spell. So we can literally press our Q and we get the movement speed without cooldown. We can spam it. We can be permanently buffed with the movement speed. It's, it's, it's fucking amazing. I'm considering buying it on the Bruiser Ezreal and the Assassin Ezreal because this item is just so fucking good for Ezreal, no? 60 movement speed for 2 seconds after hitting a skill shot? Like I'm permanently on 500 movement speed. What is this? It's, it's fucking amazing. So yeah, we don't need shoes. Obviously, if you don't have Cosmic, then you go uh, Haste shoes. The second you have enough gold for Cosmic, then you, you're changing shoes because it gives more movement speed, more Haste, more AP, more HP. Like, it gives... It's just better shoes. It, there's no point in having shoes if you have Cosmic Drive. It's probably gonna get nerfed because it's super fucking OP. And it's a must buy on every single mage champion, but until it's online, then <laughs> we're fucking abusing it. The, like, the burst with this build is amazing. Storm Surge is amazing on AP Ezreal because the only requirement for the Storm, so, storm Surge to work is, is dealing 35% of maximum health, which we can easily proc with every single one of our spells, like W, Q, E, with, with everything. So yeah, uh, and also Shadow Flame now critically strikes when someone is under 35% health and what it means is that uh, our ult can strike, our E can strike and our Q can strike. So yeah, this, this, this is the build. The only problem with this build is that you have no wave clear. You have literally no wave clear, especially if you don't go Muramana and you go Malignance. If you go Malignance though, as you can see the radius increases based on the damage done and our ult Oh, our ult hits fucking hard. So the radius is pretty pretty fucking big, as you can see. This is the the good part. If you land like a five man ult in like a team fight or dragon fight or whatever, and then yeah, they are burning. They are fucking burning. But I still I still believe Muramana is way better because without the DRQ it's just useless. And if you really want to play a, a champion without a spell, then you might as well play fucking Nami or, or Morgana. So yeah, th these are all the builds.